right? All right. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm leading today's standard and uh, wish you guys are uh, great and you can get others on the chat to join. Um, I mean from Slack. And yeah, I see them coming. See, we have uh, Ebo, Dema, Geza, you know, Ewan, Martin, Samuel, Salam, Stella, Tadese, Despai, Haitas. Good morning, guys. So, as usual, we are going to share how things are going from our groups and also, yeah, share with us the progress you are at towards the mission of today. Then, as usual, we move on with the, of course, the hot seat at the end. But before we go on, yeah, we should hear from the Chen Academy team if there is any announcement. There's no announcement from my end by now. If there will be one, I will be happy to share it with you on the Slack group. But let's hear from the, the careers, tutors, technical tutors, if there is any announcement. No announcement. Okay. So then, why right, then start by sharing how we are doing from our groups? Let me see the volunteers first. Good morning, Biniam. Good morning, Everest, uh, and everyone. So, Good give you an update uh, about our team. Uh, we have uh, we are mani we have managed to you know complete most of the tasks for today's submission uh, and uh, currently we're struggling with solving one issue that means uh, whether we need a backend or not uh, and uh, if we need a backend uh, implementation for our uh, project uh, it will, there's going to be some scalability issues since uh, every front end user is going to be sharing uh, uh, centralized uh, server and uh, uh, yeah we're trying to sort that out and uh, other than that we don't have any blockers and uh, uh, the team is doing great uh, yeah thank you thanks Ubinium. uh so when when, when you say that you you were not sure if you're going to you're going to need backend and for your project how is the instruction says? So how how are the instructions saying? So do you think like the instructions are not clear for now? So we can ask from one from the tutors. So make sure that we are on the same page from all groups. Yeah, uh, from the instructions, I don't think there is uh, any part that suggests we need to use a backend. Uh, but uh, we were uh, thinking. Uh, if we need to uh, somehow authenticate the users that are uh, trying to uh, submit, uh, you know, their audio recordings to a particular text they are getting, uh, we may need to implement the backing so that it can handle the authentication for us. But if the website is going to be an open uh, website that anyone can just come in and uh, load some of the text, read it, and sub uh, submit uh, the corresponding audio. Uh, maybe we don't we might need we might not need to implement a back end we can just use the front end and there won't be any scalability issue in our uh, in uh, that's what we think uh, we might be mistaken uh, so maybe others can elaborate on that okay thanks Biniam. let's hear from the rest of the team maybe martin how do you understand about this matter so before we ask someone from the tutoring team make it clear so that no one is probably doing like different things from others or if okay if um, <laughs> thank you for the opportunity i think from my side how i understood this uh, particular task is that 
there's the Apache Kafka clusters, and then there's the airflow for the scheduling. Uh, so it's going to be like a broker in between, um, it's going to be a broker in between the client and the server. So what happens is that between the client and the server, there are some operations that uh, need to be queued. Like for example, if it's sending messages. So when sending these messages, uh, which could be the text corpus from the event, from, from, the, from, the, from the source, wherever it's coming from, and then once it comes in, it triggers, now you know these are events, it, it triggers an event which uh, will uh, go and store that particular uh, message in the S3 bucket. So uh, that is what it, it does. And then once it's stored in the S3 bucket, uh, many other consumers can actually come and access it. So uh, anybody, you, you, you can put up uh, even different uh, clients, different clients or different consumers. So there's the producer, the producer are, the, uh, are those are coming from uh, the back end and then the, the, the consumers is from the front end. So you can think of the producers as the APIs and then the consumers as the as, as the front end now. So with the, with, with, with the front end, how it will be able to receive that particular information uh, it can be able to receive that particular information from different uh so that's how i understood uh, from my side okay thanks martin you did yeah uh, okay i'm not trying to answer it. i'm it's a question maybe for martin or pinam or any other train trains mm -hmm. regarding what it's been they have been saying can i ask or okay yeah sure yeah sp my question is specifically what will be triggering the s3 bucket when the front end loads or when the user logs into our page what's going to trigger the s3 bucket to produce messages with the kafka and finally the web app will be consuming those messages i think for that one it can be you can use airflow just for the triggers or alternatively you can still use uh apache uh you can still use the apache Apache Spark for triggering again. So because the, the, the Kafka clusters are just, you, you what it will do is, it's it's because this is event driven, you know, you, you, are, you are working on event driven stuff. So when, once like, for example, once this happens, then the next thing happens. So uh, Apache Spark or Airflow can do that. Yes, but how will Apache Spark or Apache Airflow will know when a user looks into our page? Because this will be a distributed system and many users might be using our web app. How will it know, we know when a specific user starts using our web app and try to consume those messages from S3 bucket? Uh, it's because it, it, it's the requests, the requests that are coming in, that is where now the, you know, you can think of it. I, I think even Yabubar had answered that question uh, when introducing it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can think of it, he gave two solutions. Uh, he gave two solutions for that particular case. So the first solution was that uh, you can have a different, like a different, you can you can produce many different types of, like those messages. They can they can they can come from many different types of messages. Then another user now selects which type of message that it should be able to go through. So when 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 that other person selects, then that means that that is the consumer from that other side so when that consumer selects that is what will be presented on the front end on the other side and it will trigger other actions so that is you have to do it like a, a three tie it's like a three tie you have to do it from one face to the other okay yeah i'm, I'm sorry if i'm taking may, too much may time. i i agree okay. with you yeah uh, maybe sure. i may have i may be able to answer your question so okay uh, they're just consumers. Uh, they will be connected to the Kafka as a consumer. So whenever uh, there will be an update in a particular topic, they will, mm -hmm. uh, since they will be listening on the on that particular topic, they will just uh, automatically be notified of the update. So yeah, the consumers can you know will they uh, will automatically be triggered uh, by the Kafka themselves. That's my understanding. And from my experiments, uh, it seems to be uh, that seems to be the way. 
uh, they operate. So one, if you just connect the consumer to Kafka uh, in a, on mm -hmm. a particular topic, whenever mm -hmm. a data comes in that topic, those consumers will automatically be notified of that updates and uh, mm -hmm. they will be able to load that data. Uh, mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, it, it that makes sense. Thank you, Pinyam. But we won't be storing all of the data. I think the data we've been discussing with someone earlier today, and the data is uh, of about a million text files, right? Text rows. So we won't be storing all that rows on Kafka. There will be some retention period for expiration of the message on Kafka. So the message might expire within a day or two. So we'll be using a permanent storage data, such as S3 bucket to store all of our text data. Our consumers, here in our case, the browser, our web app, will be consumed yeah. from Kafka once the messages are being produced from a street bucket to Kafka. Yeah, you won't need to store them uh, for any uh, particularly, uh, you know, long time because uh, the whole system works, uh, you know, in a stream uh, fashion. That means whenever a new uh, data comes into the Kafka, like uh, a new audio record or something, uh, automatically, the, uh, the you know, if you're using a Spark, the Spark will be notified, the Spark will perform the necessary uh, since the Spark is acting like a consumer here, to, uh, that particular application will be notified. Then it will process the data and automatically, you know, transition it to uh, S3 bucket. The whole process, there is no, you know, resting in between. Yeah. Once yeah. the data reaches uh, Kafka, it will automatically tri uh, trigger the Spark, which will uh, take the data, process it, and put it inside S3 bucket. So. Uh, okay. Yeah, what about uh, in the step on? when the data is coming from a street packet back to Kafka and finally to the user or to the web app. There should be some kind of trigger which triggers the street packet to send or to produce message to the Kafka so that the user or the web app can consume those messages from the Kafka. Yeah, that's actually the question we've been struggling with as well. But uh, basically, uh, what uh, I'm currently uh, thinking of doing is just uh, you know, the the uh, the event sourcing, I think that's called the event sourcing, uh, will be just extracting text from the S3 bucket and transferring to uh, the Kafka uh, topic. At which point, if there is any consumer that's currently uh, requesting, you know, a text to uh, load into their local machine and uh, submit an audio file, they will be given, uh, you know, one of the text inside the Kafka. Uh, since Kafka is capable of storing uh, a large amount of data for uh, for a little while, there's not going to be an issue since a million text is like nothing uh, for Kafka. But uh, after a while, uh, this whole process, uh, the, you know, the stored text might be lost. So there needs to be a way to, you know, uh, keep track of the ones that have that have been managed that have been uh, <clears throat> even, uh, you know that have been read by a user and supplied uh, an audio file and adjust the s3 bucket that is the input of your event source to begin with does that make sense yes yeah, so within a specified time interval using maybe airflow we can produce messages from the s3 bucket to the kafka and yes. The moment the retention period of the Kafka expires, you can produce that mes those messages again to Kafka, right? Exactly, but you know, on the back side, you might need to, uh, you know, uh, adjust uh, the S3 bucket contents uh, so that you uh, you don't uh, add uh, uh, redundant information back again because some yeah. of the the yeah. information you're adding might already be, uh, you know, supplied with uh, an audio uh, file, so. You'll, you'll need to eliminate those uh, texts from your S3 buckets. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I think that's one approach. Yeah. It's not a necessarily perfect uh, solution, but that's, I think, one approach. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's also, uh, actually, Binyam has really uh, uh, explained the way I was also thinking of the vice versa coming from the S3 bucket all the way back to the user. Because you know, when you store, you will have to store it for a period of time, and then it will expand. It, it gets uh, your data can it gets lost. So, how will you be able to return it all the way from the S3 bucket uh, back to the user? You can uh, use the. In fact, I think if it's possible, you can be able to uh, 
work on it like an uh, you, you can be able to use like an, a way of updating the records so that we without really losing that particular information you can still be able to access it on the fly without uh, any struggle okay all right okay. thank you guys. thanks guys thanks guys so you did that you got it now so yeah Thank you. So can you can you share from your group? So I, I guess it was a question that you asked. Uh, how, how is your group doing? Uh, okay, so to give an update of our group, our, um, from group five and we have been working together and I think we are progressing. We still haven't started the implementation phase because we still, did a, we just got access to the server in the morning. Uh, actually, we have finished the web app, the basic user interface that the user can record an audio on the user interface and send it. For now, we are just storing the audio. But once we start the implementation on the server side, we can uh, create the Kafka producer on the client side or on, on our React app and produce that to the Kafka and start the whole implementation. We have been trying to divide the tasks. Okay. Some of us so were do researching you on feel like So you know today it's a... Okay. Uh, sorry, go, I didn't get that. Yeah, yeah, you can just go on, then I can ask my follow up question after. I think you were done. Uh, yes, I, uh, what was I saying? But I think we are progressing well, and we can now start. We have also installed the uh, Kafka installation using Confluent. I might have another question to ask as well. I, only the sudoers can install the Kafka in Java installation and all the requirements, but once the the, the, the member with the Tudor access install start. We've been trying to access to, to, to start Kafka from our own site. We can access the Confluent path or the Kafka path, but when we are trying to start, it still requires sudo access to be able to start the Zookeeper in the Kafka. And I don't know how we can work on that in a group. Maybe, Maybe if anyone yeah. has tried to... Uh, yeah, maybe anyone with a quick answer can help. But if you don't get it here, you can ask that on Slack. Uh, sorry, as, uh, could uh, you come again? Uh, you did, you haven't uh, had the question. Okay, so what we did in a group was the members with a pseudo access tried to install uh, Confluent or Kafka in, in a home environment where everyone can access that specific environment. And we exported the paths, but when we tried to start the Kafka environment on our own site, it still needs pseudo access to start to be able to start the Zookeeper in the Kafka. Uh, from our side, we aren't actually we, we, we haven't gone through that particular challenge because uh, you where where are you storing the Kafka? Because if you store it in a file which can be accessed by everybody, it is easy. Like you can store it in the slash opt uh, folder you can install it from that particular place because that that way everybody can be able to install it and you can be able to uh, get it from whichever side. That's the sudoers can be able to uh, install the Java, the blah, 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 all those things. And then uh, from your side, you can be able to access it and even run the the, 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 the Zookeeper and the, and the Kafka. Uh, yes, I th I, we have already tried to install that in the root directory where everyone can access the files and we have exported the necessary puzzles, but I think only the admin of the, or the sudo, the one with sudo access can start the zookeeper in the Kafka. No one else can start the zookeeper because it still needs a sudo access. So you did, yeah, maybe, we, uh, maybe the, 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 let's, let's imagine that every group is facing the same questions. So, you can you can ask that on the Slack, then we see how others can contribute, right? For sure. the sake of time, right? Yeah. So my follow-up question was: uh, so how do you see yourself like meeting the deadline for today, and how is the group really collaborating? When you schedule a meeting, uh, is everyone showing up? Is everyone contributing? So what are the challenges that you're facing from your group? Uh. Uh, to, to be honest, I, I still haven't seen at the submission, in, in terms of submission document, but 
I think we are all on track because we have been working built on the challenge document and we can have a look at the interim submission document in the afternoon. Uh, and everyone is trying to collaborate on uh, on the challenge document that we are trying to work on and I think we are good. All right, thanks for sharing. Um, did, yeah. Let's hear from the other groups. Uh, which I have heard from group group five, uh, group three, and also group four, if I'm not mistaken. Let's hear from first group. Yeah, I think uh, we were actually, I was actually going sharing on, on our group, but uh, then we started answering questions. And okay. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, from from our group, that is uh, group four, the one uh, where Nados and Testify, I think we have been able to uh, install the Kafka. For us, I think just installing the Kafka and uh, doing planning the entire project from the tasks from the people who are going to do the front end, the back end, the APIs, and all that up to the end, that's uh, what we were working on on Tuesday. and. We were able to get everybody to have their particular tasks and once everybody got their particular tasks some have already started working on them and at least we are on track also on our side to be able to reach that particular place where we can be able to deliver on the interim on the interim report uh, we are also just having the same challenges as many other people because we uh got in we got into the server quite late we got into the server at today in the morning uh, so that means yesterday we weren't able to access the server, but today in the morning when we were able to access the server, we uh, installed Kafka and also uh, just getting the, the trying to set up some few uh, clusters. So adding the clusters, that's what uh, I was working on on my side, uh, trying to ensure that there are enough that they can, there are enough clusters which can we can be able to use to do that control and for the brokerage uh, services that we're going to offer between the client and the server. Uh, those are the people from the front end and the back end. Yeah, so that's uh, from uh, the group four team. Just uh, as a representative of that, I think yeah, that's that's it. Thanks, Martin. So how how is your group collaborating? Okay, but how we normally have, have two meetings. In the morning and also in the evening. In the morning is just for planning. In the evening we do uh, some bit of we do demos. We do some demos in the evening. Uh, in the morning we just do planning. Do you do do you think like everyone is showing up or just be honest? Don't say the name, but it depends. Yeah, There's sometimes honest. turn up is good time. Sometimes turn up is not good, but so far so good. I think uh, there are those the ones where we've been able. The, the the tasks which we've been able to divide uh, i've seen like people have started working on uh those tasks you can just see it even from the conversations that uh, we have in our in our in our particular group chat okay thanks so the reason why i'm asking this one of the things that make a group stronger is that everyone is on the same page so they say no but someone is not available for like two consecutive meetings so that that person is normally go probably not going to be like on the same page as you mentioned because in the meeting you can divide the task so you cannot hand a task to someone who is not present. So do you think like you have like someone who haven't showed any showed up any time so for all the meetings that you, you might have had. Do you have that person? Just don't say the name but be honest so we can be helpful in that so we can help you to follow up with uh, that person, you check on what's going on. Uh, so far, so good. I think uh, on our team, uh, all the people uh, who we reach out to are responsive. And if there's if there's anybody who is not reachable, we try to DM them directly, and they respond. So I think there's not really somebody who has been that hard uh, to refuse to show up, to refuse to do this or do that yeah i think mm. yeah so great to hear that yeah you you are on track so someone from group one who can compliment from what martin said in terms of the progress you guys are having and making 
Oh, actually, I'm from group four. I'm from yeah, group, group four. Okay, group four. So, now those, uh, Stella. Yes, Ikwa. good morning, everyone. Good morning, Nardos. Uh, so, yeah, I think Martin has said almost everything. But, uh, so we've been having two meetings per day. Uh, sometimes it's hard to, uh, not everyone can, can attend every meeting. So it's a bit difficult trying to have the same time to work on, but uh, it's going well. So everyone's started working on their own tasks and yeah, uh, we started installing the Kafka on AWS and we haven't started working on it, but we've installed it and yeah, that's our purpose. Okay, thanks Nados. Like a follow up question for me. So do you like, I haven't attended the, the introduction to the weekly challenge, but uh, how is the submission gonna be? So are you submitting individually or per groups? Do you have some tasks that are said to be done individually or others to be submitted as a group? So can you clear that? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. I'm saying, so today, like we have two submissions per week. So yes. today we have interim submission, then Saturday we have final submission. Yes. So are you going to submit as a group or you have some some tasks that you're going to submit as individual? Uh, for the interim submission, we are going to submit as a group, but for the final submission, we are, all are going to do our individual tasks. And I guess we haven't discussed that on that, but everyone is going to do their individual work for the final submission. Perfect, thanks. Yeah. I was trying to probably help understand or if the rest of the team is aware of that. Sometimes the introduction to each challenge is not attended by everyone. So this mm. is very good, great. Uh, let me hope that everyone is on the same page with what we've done. Yeah. Thanks for sharing others and also Thanks a lot from your group. So, which group haven't we had from? Uh, group two, did we? All right. Uh, Salam, good morning. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Well, uh, uh, we have uh, discussed uh, on our groups on the tasks we have uh, done so far, and uh, uh, I, I hope we are going to be able to. Uh, submit the interim submission by today. Uh, we have already classified tasks and we have uh, done some of the tasks and uh, I hope uh, we are going to complete by then and we are on track. All right. So thanks. Thanks so much, Saran. So how many meetings are you having that day? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, in a day, we have two meetings, one before the stand-up and one on the evening. So by now, we already have around uh, five meetings. Okay, thanks, Sam. So if you are, so sorry for the follow-up questions, but if you are to share like the biggest wins of your group so far and also the things that you can change moving forward from today to, to the final submission, what what should they be? Well, uh, I think uh, on that maybe it's just uh, every group member uh, just uh, working on our tasks, uh, specifically working on our tasks in the presenting on time. So far, uh, we didn't have any problems except on the technical, some technical parts. And uh, if one person didn't do that, the other person covers it. So. Uh, I think uh, the, the strengths we are going to maintain will be um, dividing the tasks and uh, presenting each person, presenting their assignments on those tasks on time so that we can later on integrate it. Okay, thanks, Salam. And hope you guys uh, yeah, keep the same momentum and also the same spirit and I hope that things will go smoothly. 
Um, maybe you can hear from someone from your group to probably confirm it. We have Siaka Kevin on the call. Or someone else from your group. Okay, he's on the floor. Chaka, can hear? Can you hear me? Not. Um, yes, Bill. Are you from the same group with Seram? Yeah, we are on the same group. Uh, hi. Right. Morning, everyone. So, uh, as uh, Salam said it already, so we are trying to make a good progress. We try to discuss everything that we come up come up with and the challenge we have. Uh, so, I think we are uh, uh, in a good uh, uh, in a good way right by now, and hopefully, we can uh, submit everything on on the right on the on the uh the right time uh, maybe personally i i couldn't uh, get access to the aws instance i tried to dm via blood but i think he didn't saw it so i changed my os and uh, i tried to send him my public key credential so maybe if, uh, if it's possible so I, I am I'm waiting for my access. Thank you. Okay, that's that's the broker you're having, and yeah. personally, and I, I I feel like it's also affecting the group as well. So if it's possible, I can yeah, can probably remind you before you yeah, on your behalf. Uh, thanks for yeah. Uh, alerting us with, with your brokers that you're facing. So now I think we have heard from the rest of the group. And then make sure that um, I'm correct. But I'm not sure if you have heard from so many ladies <laughs> today's call. I, I think I've heard from Navdos and Salam. And um, I'm probably gonna call um, some ladies on the on the list. I have seen some some have shared from the the chat, like Matilda did. So they are okay on the project. So they are meeting as group and trying to make a way around the project. So hopefully they will deliver on time. Um, how about? Ama Sharif, the hot seat person for today. Hi, Ama. Hi, Chris. Hi. Um, okay. So, which group are you and uh, can you share? Yeah, we're in group three. Um, so, as Benny and said, uh, we're on track and uh, uh, we're just uh, figuring how to integrate between uh, the back end and the front end. Um, but uh, we will still uh, meet and discuss. Okay. Thanks, Omar. I uh, hope things are going great. And yeah, as, uh, as groups, you know, so even though you are working from groups, so it's always good to also share the rest of the, the other groups that how things are going. If you're facing questions, don't struggle much time within the group. You can go outside the group and also ask from the team, from the SAC group, uh, the, the general or the week nine channel. So that will be helpful for even other groups that might be facing the same question or same issue, same challenge. So, how about Daisy? Um, Daisy, yeah. which group are you and can you share? Group five. Good morning, Aris. I'm sorry I joined in quite late. I'm certain my teammates may have shared our progress. Um, so far, so good. Um, at least we've been able to um, 
spread up our heads around the challenge. We meet twice a day as well, like other groups in the morning and in the evening. Um, and we also like just do demos to express if we figured out how a certain technology works. Um, and uh, I think today we were able to set up Kafka on the AWS instance and we'll be able to um, kickstart the coding today. Thank you, that's it. Okay, thanks, Daisy. Um, I guess we can hear from one to two people, then just we just switch to the hot seat. Uh, so Amar should be getting uh, getting ready, and uh, let's hear from Meron, which group are you, and can you share from share your progress so far? Okay, so I'm I'm from group uh, three. So my teammates basically say the most of the things uh, there is. We have been progressing uh, well, and I think we are working well together as well. We've been meeting up often, twice a day, and uh, I think the past two days we have just been. Uh, really engaged in uh, discovering all the tools, finding out how we would be working, and I think we're also up to up up to speed for today's submission as well. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Marilyn. Uh Glad to see that things are going well with Group Three, right? Um. Yes, Group Three. Okay. So, so but. A general question from my side. So I saw a message from um, from Yabeba that the server was not up yesterday and it was, it, it was up late. So how are you guys handling that? And based on this, the speed and also the pace you guys are having. So how is how, how did it affect you? And also how are you going to handle this? Just anyone from the team uh, on the call can probably answer this question. Is it a broker for you guys, or it, it was fine? Or did anyone um, get the question right? Can you guys hear me? Like the silence is too bad. Okay, so if you can you can hear me just type yes i'm not sure just speaking Hello. and you can move to the okay so let me hope that it was not a broker so it was just to understand if so the server was late to be up if that would be a broker to understand it's a broker but my 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 worry was about how you guys are dealing with this broker. I hope that things are going to work. Yeah. So Amar, can you just probably get get ready, turn on your camera? Then we start having people hands up to probably be ready to ask you some sort of questions that they might be having about you. It's time now for the hot seat. Let's see, Amar is on the phone.
Okay. Good morning, Aman. Nice to see you. Nice to, to see your face. Uh, you can unmute yourself. So I'm not sure if this session is going to be engaging as uh, others, but I'll try my best uh, to make sure that it's more engaging. Just feel free, feel relaxed. And you know, if you can probably not be ready to ask, to answer any, any question, you just say pass. So if you say pass means you're not ready to answer that question, but we'll be having a few seconds to just answer one question from the team. I see Daisy hand is up. I need more hands, guys, so we start. More hands, guys. Only Daisy, ready to ask? <laughs> All right. Maybe we will see others able. So I'm going to just start a timer. I'll try to be a five minutes. So I will start from my my side. My question for you, Ama, is who is your favorite person in the world today? Sorry, Amma, did you say um, something? My mom. Yeah. Your mom? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. So let's go to Daisy. Um, Amma, what's your favorite meal? Um, my favorite meal is pizza. Pizza. Wow. All right. Ebo. Ebo, can you unmute and ask? So we go to Daisy. Your hand is up again. You have a follow-up question. Oh, okay. Among three things we, we may not know about you. Um, three things you might not know about me is that um, I'm not very social. Um, um, I also don't like gatherings and, um, uh, I like, um, I like watching movies. Okay, great. Titus. Okay, Amal, what does the name Amal mean? Hope. Okay. Okay. Did you mean hope? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Evo, can you now speak? Hello, Amma. Hi. You have a very crow in your house. So, what's like to have a bird? Curious. Okay, I don't have it inside my house. Um, we have crows in Mombasa. There are many of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mark. What's the one thing you will never forget? Uh, one thing I'll never. One thing you will never do again. One thing I'll never do again. Mm. Um, um, I, I don't know. Um, um, maybe I won't repeat what I did wrong out of experience. All right. So, Daisy again. Uh. Um, well, okay. what? when you're stressed out I eat <laughs> <laughs> okay um that's a nice one so someone <laughs> so we still have like one minute and some couple of seconds um let me see the hands guys so, so we need some burning questions guys so, as okay, Pinyam, 
titles again. So, Biniam. Uh, where do you live, Amal? I live in Kenya, Mombasa. Specific. Kenya, Mombasa. It's a coastal island. So Mombasa is a nice place. Uh, Titus? Okay, Amal. Um, assuming that this is your last, you have like 24 hours left on Earth. And like you're healthy and you're just you're just good. What would you do for the twenty four hours? Um, um, uh, cause I don't have anything in my account. <laughs> I'll just say that uh, I'll tell everyone that I love them. <laughs> oh. Nice one. So we have forty four minutes. For 14, 14 seconds, now there are 10 seconds, nine, eight. So, guys, thanks for, yeah, thanks, Ama, for uh, attending this. And also, thanks for everyone who, who asked okay. questions. And also, you, I didn't count questions, but you, you did not have anyone pass. So, it means you have answered 100% questions. So, uh, Thanks for coming and also, yeah, keep having a nice day. Okay, thank you. So, guys, um, this is the end of the today's standard. So, I'm going to stop the I'm going to stop the recording. So, unless someone is having a quick question, so then I will wish you all the best for the rest of the day.